Alright, this is part 5 of the Marlin 795 automatic bolt release mod. So we've got the correct spring tension. Again, when we insert the magazine, the bolt catch goes up into the bolt stop position. When we release the magazine, the bolt comes back down, allowing it to close. Uh, it's in The spring looks nice in there. It's situated over here where it needs to be. This end just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. So we'll work on that. So all this extra that we don't need. Bending this, I'm starting to impinge on that detent spring, and I don't want to do that. You can see it's starting to get hung up back there. I think it's partially because it's too long or too wide. It's getting hung up there. So I'm going to shorten this spring again a little bit and then we'll have to adjust the tension from there. So to shorten it, I need it to go back through this window. Again, like I previously stated, some of this is trial and error because it's not a factory uh, functionality for this firearm. So sometimes you gotta play with it until you get it to work. I will say I have had it work with a different spring, but it was a spring I had to make, and I was hoping to find a solution that was right out of the box for anyone to use. With the new spring comes some new testing and some new bending. I'm just unwinding that free end again because I want to cut it shorter. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and cut this now. And cut it short. Right about there. Cut that piece off. So now the whole spring has about Three, four, four or five actual loops. So if this works, you can cut yours and start from there. I'll go ahead and feed it through this window where it needs to sit. It needs to be a little longer. Come out of there. There we go. Bend the end down. bend in it. Hopefully that'll keep it in place. We don't have any spring tension right now because the other end came off of where it needs to sit so we'll have to swing that back around. Have it engage where it needs to be. Go. 
now it's engaged there. Uh, well, <laughs> looks like the other side came undone. That's alright. Just swing it back through. hold it in place with my finger while I work on the other end. Sorry. Working with my clock so I don't run over the 10 minute time limit per episode. tell by doing this that the tension is probably too strong for the magazine, but that's alright. You're just looking on, working on the length, or we can adjust that by adjusting the length. I had to cut it shorter so that it didn't have too much side tension that it was impinging on the detent spring area. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull this through, load up some tension, you can see this guy's, this side's engaging where it needs to be, I'm going to pull this through a little bit. One thing I should note, it's good to rotate as you pull, instead of just pulling the last coil out. Some tension, but not quite enough. Rotate and pull a little bit more. Bend it. There we go. Now we've got some spring tension, putting it back, pushing it back down where it needs to be. I'll check to make sure the magazine engages, which it does. not impinging on the detent spring you can see it going it's going flush every time and the magazine still pushes up the bolt catch all right we'll continue in the next part